What you see here is data from steamcharts.com. I took it an hour ago and you can see basically the players, total players who are uh, playing concurrently the game Concord on Steam. Now, basically Concord right now on Steam is in open beta. Basically, everyone wants to play it, can go and play it. Right, the beta, open beta is free for everyone. Expected? Yes, considering all the backslash. And you need to understand that for a multiplayer game, an online multiplayer game, it is worrying. Now, the game will eventually be a paid game. Well, who knows, maybe it's going to change. <laughs> maybe for some reason they see the number and say, all right, well, we're going to refund players and just go free to play. Whether it's likely to happen, I don't know. But basically, when players see something like that, those even who think uh, who thought about getting into the game might say to themselves, "All right, if it's like that, maybe the game will just uh, die very quickly." So what I'm actually paying for? Now we don't know the numbers for uh, uh, for the PlayStation again. These are the just numbers from Steam. All right, keep this in perspective. Still, this is an indicator that shows that basically there's a uh, if. So many players actually not even interested in even trying playing it. This means that they're already telling themselves, well, I'm not going to play it anyway, so why even bother playing uh, the beta? I, I mean, they said to themselves, I'm not going to buy it. And to be honest with you, this is just a missed opportunity. First of all, I'm just saying I'm enjoying the game a lot. For me, it doesn't really matter. People saying if the game will die after a month or so, it doesn't matter. I'm looking at the, right now, the moment I'm having fun playing the game. For me, that's the most important thing. I'm having fun, I'm gonna play it. I can tell you for sure that I'm not gonna pre-order it, but definitely if it goes well, nothing changes, and I had fun in the bed off, I will buy into the game and I'm gonna play it when it launches. But you need to understand that lots of competition, that many of the hero shooters and battle royale games that also people are really invested in are free to play. This is uh, basically, will put this game in a very tough competition. Let alone that there's going to be even more competition, like Marvel Rivals, for example, coming 2024. Now, it might sound funny for some of you, but uh, for me, if I enjoy it and I really enjoy the game, I'm going to play it as long as it lasts. But I'm going to have fun playing a game that I enjoy. I'm going to enjoy it. If it doesn't last long, well, so be it. What can I do? I mean, I can do my best to just, you know, play a game that I've been found. Hopefully, more players will play and have fun as well. The thing is that, again, the game has so many things that I enjoy. I really like the progression uh, in the game, the different game modes. I really enjoy the, playing all the different heroes. It rarely happens. Usually I just choose two and just stick with them. Here, I just enjoy playing, except the sniper, I think. Uh, it feels a bit generic and nothing really interesting. I really enjoy playing all of the heroes. Now, to me, this is actually pretty well balanced when it comes to heroes. If I compare it to Overwatch, for example, Overwatch is like over the place. A monkey jumps from you for nowhere. Jankrat is like shooting you from all across the map. The ultimate's ability are totally broken, which makes things like, you know, soft resets every single minute or so, sometimes less. And here there are no such things like that. And well, I'm not going in depth, but basically the game feels much more balanced and in control for a hero shooter, fantasy hero shooter game. Things are more, you know, down to earth, not get totally crazy, where you just, it's a total chaos. This is why I love games like Valorant, for example, that have heroes, but things are a bit toned down. And it feels like, you know, the abilities kind of complement things, uh, but don't really make the game feel like, uh, you know, every second things can really get out of control. And I think in that aspect, they designed the game very well. I actually, I, many people are so uh, busy bashing the game that we need to look also at the things that done very well in this game. And I think in that aspect, which is the most important aspect for me, they really did a great job. They also made uh, some characters like tanks move slowly, although they also add an option to use the uh, crew builder in order to be able to increase certain things like range, uh, first reload and stuff, but actually sacrificing spaces for certain heroes to appear in the roster. This is why I think it's actually a great idea. They did it so well. So if you want to become uh, uh, you know, more powerful with your character, which again, is still balanced, you're going to have something you know to give in return. And I think those who are enjoying it, forget, don't, if you don't enjoy, you don't enjoy the game, move on, <laughs> fine. I mean, I mean, there's so many games and you don't have to enjoy a game, but those who actually, I think, enjoying it, are really having a blast. 
when it comes to your shooter is so packed and for me by the way i've just stopped playing so many others so i don't mind having another one whether it succeed or not again i'm not talking about that yeah, i hope for the marketing and developers to create something good and hopefully to attract gamers but as a gamer if i not enjoy playing overwatch and many other games and i want a game well yeah i want and of course i'm going to give this game a chance because i want something alternative to enjoy it might be this one it might be uh, marvel rivals i don't know which one i'm going to stick with but definitely when it comes to this game i stick for quite a long time and i think that many when it comes to uh, these games sometimes they try to do over the top things that in the long run is first of all hard to balance first it becomes very chaotic and eventually not fun it even can ruin the entire esport category for a certain game and many of these games are built around cosmetic and stuff that eventually again just don't really add anything extra and something meaningful to the game mechanics that you can really enjoy and you know have some great anticipation for what's coming ahead because it's just going to be a different skin some people love it i personally really don't care about it that much but that's why i found many of the zero shooters just offering cosmetics to be very shallow when it comes to uh, features so here when you have the crew builder and can use the different traits uh, to add something extra to the build that you will create for your crew i found it interesting and who knows what's coming ahead maybe they're adding more features down the road and to be honest with you, I really want the game to be free to play. I think this is probably after seeing these numbers, the only chance for the game to really survive. And I would feel bad that such a, a game that feels great to me uh, will basically just fade away into obscurity. I don't mind the game having cosmetics and stuff and things on the side that I really don't care about personally. But the game, you know, being able to monetize on that and so we can actually enjoy the game as a free to play game. But I think it's a bit too late for that, but I need to wait and see. But personally, right now, as of the time of making this video, I do want to play it when it comes out. But we need to wait and see what's happened. Hopefully, things will go well for it, but things are not looking great right now. I mean, this is an understatement. Thanks for watching.